lightning web component okay so basically the lightning web component is the framework provided by the salesforce it's a modern framework provided by the salesforce there are uh, basically two frameworks uh, that salesforce has one is the aura framework and one is the lightning web component okay aura comes to the comes to the picture back in uh, 2014 now we are using aura and lightning web component both uh there are some differences uh, in uh, lightning web component and aura component and why lwc we should prefer and all those things we are going to see basically we are uh, going to see the overview of lightning web component well, what capabilities it holds and all those things we are going to see in today's session okay <clears throat> so the agenda for the today is uh, we will understand why uh, we should use lightning web component uh or the aura component and uh, how the aura and lwc can coexist okay uh, uh lightning web comp like they have provided with the uh, lightning web component that doesn't mean aura is going somewhere and uh, they are uh, deprecating the aura aura is also there lwc framework is also there okay so we'll see how it differentiate and uh, we'll see like what things we will need to install the or of uh, sorry lwc framework okay we are going to see over the overview not the we are not going to go deep into it but we'll see it uh, later in uh, our next session we'll see uh, step by step installation then uh, i will show you the component library there are 70 plus component provided by the salesforce to us like how we can use it uh, where we can find it and uh, what's the use of it we'll gonna uh, see and uh, get the overview about it okay then after that i can show you one demo like uh, how the lwc component looks how we will create the components and uh, how it reacts on the pages okay then i can give you the uh, i will give you the overview about the data service how we are going to interact with the salesforce data like how we can fetch the data how we can store the data what are uh, the methods are, what methods are there for this we'll uh, see this and uh, we can see <coughs> <clears throat> we'll talk about some events to uh, to like what are the system events uh, that supported by the uh, lightning component okay and how would the aura and uh, lwc can coexist okay so this is the agenda for today's lecture and if you have any questions then you can just note down and you can ask me at the end of the session okay so uh <clears throat> so why lwc uh, so basically in 2014 so let me show you next slide so you can get the idea okay so this is the ui evolution in 2000 back in 2010 we were using the s control okay which is the basic uh, ui uh, framework that provided by the system then uh, after that uh, the the vf page is also there okay and uh, in 2014 aura framework comes to the picture and in late 2018 lwc comes to the picture so these are the four ui framework provided by the salesforce we have fetch aura and lwc okay and now you can see in 2014 so the question is why uh, not aura why lwc why they have invented the lwc when we were having the aura uh, into the picture okay so uh, here you can see uh, in first picture like what we were doing everything is managed by this framework aura is the framework and they have provided the like uh, the data service is managed by the framework ui components like templates rendering you know extension everything is the language specific so what means by language specific in 2014 there were many frameworks like uh, aura is there react is there angular is there but if you guys are working on the aura then you cannot work on the react framework because it is a language specific like react has their own syntax their own services their own framework instructions so uh, you cannot work on it like uh, it doesn't follow the web standards okay what it is following as a web standard only the ecmascript 5 that the earlier version of the javascript even standard elements rendering and all those things this is the this is the common features provided by the browsers so we are only using this and so many important things are uh, handled by the frameworks so that's the main issue like uh, the, if any company wants to hire someone 
who is having the web development knowledge but they want they have they need to look on like what framework they have uh, used what framework they uh, they have worked on so these are the uh, you know uh, what we can say the challenges the companies and the industry is facing like they will have to hire someone and they will have to train on the react then uh, they will uh, have to invest this four to six months and then uh, they can put on the projects so these are the things okay so everyone having their own framework aura is having their own framework react is having their own framework so on okay so in 2018 what they did they combinedly decided or something like they have invented the everything in 2018 picture in the middle picture you can see like uh, uh, the framework thing the things that covered by the handled by the frameworks now handling by the web okay so the components template custom elements shadow dom modules and now the ecmas script 7 this is the uh, like uh, the latest version that type came into the picture even standard elements so what was happening in this okay oh, <coughs> what was happening in this uh, like uh, anyone like from the react guys can work on the or uh, uh, lwc and the lwc guys can work on the uh, react and voice versa like every framework that you see that works to develop the web is like a standard so it's, there are some standards for uh, that the framework follow so anyone if we, you are switching from the lwc to the angular then you will only need to learn some things okay that react specific and rest of the things will be same for you so now we are using the lwc which is only the uh, framework specific are the only three things like the lwc controls the security like what supports in the lwc what we can do and with what we cannot do and the data service this is uh, also the framework specific because uh, we we have to uh, interact with the in salesforce we use the lwc okay so uh, we have to interact with the salesforce data there are some objects and all those things so there are some standards defined by the salesforce frame lwc framework like how we can interact with our data okay and the lightning components also is the framework specific because there are 70 plus lightning components provided i will show you in, uh, later in this lecture like what are the lightning components and the data service all those things so uh, for now just uh, take in uh, keep in mind that these are the things uh, provided by the these are the framework specific and these are the web standard so you can switch in any language and you can easily uh, get the hands on on it okay so that's the main reason why they have uh, you know invented the lightning web just to base just uh, for the conclusion like uh, they have invented the lwc to follow the web standards the standard web protocols okay <clears throat> okay so this is the combined picture of aura versus lwc like uh, what uh, aura can do and uh, like okay so this the left side is the aura framework you can see in the blue picture the the things they were using as of uh, in the framework and now you can see uh, in the right lwc like everything most of the things are covered by the web and only three things are covered by the framework okay i will show you uh, like how aura and lwc looks let me so uh, open my any org then i can show you really while creating the aura application uh, aura component you have to check box like uh, you have to mark this check box according to your requirement where we have to show this uh, or a component on the lightning tab page uh, you know record page on the uh, community page or the quick backshop okay see here you can see there are eight files in the aura this is the aura component i have created the aura component and you can see there are eight files like controller is, uh, is the individual thing helper is there style is there documentation so there are around eight files you have to manage here but you can if you can see on the lwc okay let me show you in one of my projects uh, lwc component so this is only three file you will need html file js file 
and uh, this is the metadata XML file. We will uh, talk what these files do in the demo section of this uh, lecture. So uh, you can get the idea of like uh, how much uh, easy it is to see the readability and also the control controllables are reduced. So this is the difference between Aura and LWC. <clears throat> so what are the disadvantages as, as we already talked like these are the language dependent you know and uh, it doesn't follow the standard web protocols and uh, like if you are finding the resources the developers for the aura mm -hmm. then companies are facing so much challenges and it is also performance wise low you know if in, in some of my projects i have seen like it if we are develop i have developed same component in the aura and i have developed same component in the lwc but in some cases, uh, you know, it is much faster. It's a 10 times faster in LWC. In some cases, like performance also increases because we are uh, following the web standards. Okay, It is not the framework specific, so it will definitely improve and perform. So if you can see the performance wise, the LWC is the winner. So these are the advantages like uh, you get <coughs> usually find the resources and the performance wise and it's it's really guys very easy to learn like if when we go uh, onto the demo and uh, further into the lectures you can understand that it is really easy to understand just uh, you need to know uh, and if someone uh, knows the you know uh, from the web development background or anything like html or uh, javascript if you have any basic idea uh, on these things so you will be a master in the LWC that I can surely tell. Okay. So okay. So what uh, all things you will need to install the uh, what you can say the PS code on the LWC uh, setup. You will need the JDK latest version of the JDK. If you have in the system, then it's okay. Otherwise, you will need to install the JDK part. Okay. And then uh, you will need one VS Code. There are many ID IDs you can use, but I think VS Code is the best and uh, uh, best thing in the market to work with the uh, LWC part. So you will need the latest version of the VS Code and uh, you will uh, need to install some extensions also, like uh, that I will tell you when you start the installation part in the coming lecture. So, and one and the most important thing, you will need the CLI, Salesforce CLI. Without CLI, you cannot integrate with the Salesforce. Like you had, uh, as I shown you, the VS code of mine, you are doing the development on the local machine. This is my local machine. And you will have to deploy these things. Like if I click here and deploy resource to work, then it will go to my org. For this, you will need the, CLI to install. This is this the thing uh, will do the integration for us. Like whenever we deploy, it will automatically deploy to the our org. Okay. So these are the three things you will need to start with the LWC. So component we'll see the component library. Okay. So I will show you quickly into my browser. Just you can type the component library. So you will get the first link, very first link. You'll have to click on it. Okay. So here you here you can see on the left hand side, lightning component and our component. They have provided the components for both. Okay, so we are interested in the lightning component. So we'll go. Here you can see there are 70 plus component. Okay, uh, that you can use in the lightning. Suppose you want the input field. Okay, so just search for the input and you can click on it. <coughs> so you will get the sample code here like how we can create the input field in the, or you can just copy paste and you can use it in your uh, LWC part in the HTML file. And this is the preview, like how it will look like, 
Okay. So everything you will get if you want the data table. So you don't need to worry about the designing part. Most of this is the data table. You just when you want to work with the data table, you will just need to copy this paste into the your HTML file. Here uh, I will show you. This is the HTML file. Okay. So here you will need to just copy and paste, and you just need to work on your logic and so like we will see how we can work with the data table everything if you want to show the data on the combo box you will have the combo box too this is the pick list nothing but the pick list so what i mean to say everything you will get here okay every uh, design part you will get you will just need to refer this document and uh, i will uh, recommend you or suggest you to go through this document you know as you get the time to how what things it supports and what things they have provided to us okay so and this is one the developer guide section here you will get the documentation like we are in the lightning web component section so you will get everything like how to create lightning web component communicate with the event you know self how to work with the self source data you will just expand it go one by one you will get and this is the best document i would say like you uh, should not refer any other sites or other things you can get to learn or practice here on this document okay so these are the things about the component library while uh, working with the lwc there are uh, properties of lwc okay there are two type of properties public property and the private property so the, uh just just uh give a look on this picture okay don't go don't go go deep into this uh when we will start learning one by one things you will get the things okay just keep in mind this picture like this api is the public property and track and uh, you know where late const or the wire and the imperative method is the private property so we use this api method uh, to communicate between the two components okay suppose we have the two components and we have the requirement to pass data between these uh, these two components then we will use the api and uh, this track is the react pro reactive property on the salesforce uh, sorry awc framework so we will use to declare the our variables and all those things so whenever we change the value it will automatically get reflected on the ui so these are the things and we will see one by one so first uh, just keep in mind this picture okay so we will see one demo like how we can create the lightning web component and uh, you know i will create some one component there so just let me jump on this so this is the new project i have created okay uh, in in next session i will show you how we will uh, how we can install the vs code integrate with the salesforce and how we can create the new project here i have already created the project because when you create the project uh, it will take some time 10 to 15 minutes on my laptop to load the library so just to save the time i have already created the projects after creating the projects this is how it looks like like when you create the project, it will automatically create these much files for you. You will just need to go inside the force app folder. Okay. And you will see these much files are there. Like you can create the application or application to write classes, uh, LWC objects. Even you can uh, create the triggers from it. Okay. These are the folders created by the Salesforce CLI. So you can just right click on it or, or you can. Uh, you can uh, type control shift p so it will uh, show all the commands that is provided by the salesforce cli first we need to authorize this with our org so this is on our local machine right so whatever we will write how we are going to deploy on it so first we will need to connect this uh, local machine application vs code with our salesforce org so first we will uh, control shift p authorize an org just click on it so it will run so and here you can select with org uh, with which org uh, you have to connect like on the sandbox on the production on the or any specific like uh, if you are working on any project we will get an url so you can uh, log in or so you can connect with that org 
so currently i am using a free edition that is so it will be in production so i will connect on just uh, give any name like uh, let me see any any name to your all <coughs> so just wait it will uh, run and automatically opens a window where you have to just enter your login credentials of your org and it will automatically integrate this org with uh, your self authorize an org run successfully ran so whenever i will create the component here and i will just deploy from here it will deploy to this org i can use anywhere in this org that component okay so this is how it works and now we are going to create the component you can just right click on it or you can just uh, control shift p or you can search create lightning web component okay so just give the name for your component i will give you first uh, and one thing you would uh, need to consider while creating the component you have to follow the camel case okay so you can write all your name into the small case otherwise you have to write this is my first lwc okay so first you word you can start with the small and then second word first letter you can uh, make it as a capital okay so this is the standard protocols and the uh, uh, camel casing what we can say you have to follow it so it will create the component for us so here you can see the component has created okay and automatically the self uh, the salesforce cli has created three files for us html file js file and metadata file we will see the use for these three files one by one okay so what we are go going to build we are going to uh, create one input file here and whatever uh, we write the text in we will uh, create one paragraph it will uh, reflect on the paragraph okay. so for this we will need one um, one lightning input so what we will do we will go to the component library we can search for the input box so from lwc section you have to select the input okay so just copy this this is the input you can copy all those things but i only want the input file input text okay, so i am copying only this you can paste it inside the template html file okay so it has created an uh, sort of again <clears throat> input field for us then we can write one paragraph whatever we enter in this input field uh, will automatically reflect it on this paragraph yeah. i will show you why uh, why i am using this okay on the js on the js file this is the class you can see this is the class created by the javascript you have to mention one variable here you can create as a track like creating and if i not as a null you will have to import the track variable here as a lightning element you will have to also import the track variable so it will not give us the error okay so what we are going to do now whenever we will type okay we will fire one event on change on change we will call one method handle Change. Okay, and again you have to follow the camel case here. Event. This is the event. So we are having the event inside the this method. This is the method. Okay. So what we are we are doing? Whatever we are typing, we have to. get this in one of in in one string like this dot 
trading equals to event dot target dot so what we are doing whatever we are writing inside this input field we are taking it into the uh, we are uh, calling the on change event what a on change event will do it will fire whenever we type something into this okay it will it will call this uh, uh, method and it will store the value inside this greeting uh, variable okay and we are showing this greeting variable on our paragraph so what we are doing what this track variable will do whenever the value of this greeting changes automatically it will reflect on the ui okay so uh, uh, and in in meta xml we have to expose it as a true and we have to set the targets like where we need to show this uh, what we can say uh, component on the app page on the on the record page on the detail page you know we have to uh, tell this to the uh, on the local system itself so i can show you here in my projects how i have de uh, defined you know i want to show it on the community page so i have defined it as a community home page record page so we can just copy paste this also okay so you can use this component on any of these pages okay so just save it save every file just a second just a okay sorry guys so we will uh, deploy this component to our org so now it will automatically deploy it to the org that we have already connected and every time you don't need to authorize to org you just need to authorize org once and you can uh, create multiple components here and deploy accordingly okay so now we are on the org so we will go on the any pages or you can you can show the component here also so just click on the uh, edit page so it will automatically opens the builder for us and what was our name for the component first step lwc you can see here this is the name and you can see here first lwc so what we will do we will just delete the okay just drag it and drop it okay so let's save this just go back Um, why it is not showing? Just let me check once. I think we haven't saved the HTML file. Okay. So we forgot to save the HTML file, so that's why it is not showing us. So just save it, Control S, and deploy it again. Okay. Now, if you refresh. Okay. Now you can see the input box here. So if I type something inside it, you can see. If you if you guys can see, or let me zoom it again. Okay. So whatever you will type, automatically it is it's getting reflected here. So how this is happening? Just because of this track variable. So what track will do? it is reactive whenever the value changes it will get reflected on the ui so at the very first you can see if we only refresh this at the very first we have declared it as a blank okay so it is not showing anything to us and whenever in the uh, input type in the input uh, text box we are firing an event handle change okay on change we are calling this method handle change 
okay and in handle change we are changing the value of this greeting so what we are getting whenever we are changing the value we are also getting the changed value updated value okay and uh, you can take another example here like uh, if you want like first name and uh, last name suppose we want to create a form we want to enter first name last name and we have to auto populate the first name and last name so how we are going to do it we'll see it okay so this is the one text box this is another text box so you can label it as a first name you can label it as a last name okay and uh, we will call it as a handle first name okay and handle last name okay so what we will need now we will need to create the methods with the same name, first name and uh, what we are getting we are getting event as a parameter okay and uh, just i will change the name for this handle last name okay and we are getting event so again we will need uh, two variables to create <clears throat> f name L. Okay. So what we will do? This dot f name. And what the, uh, this is this keyword, what it means, it refers to the global variable of this class. This is the class. You can also create the uh, variables inside the methods. Okay. So like uh, if you create this, then you will, uh, you don't need to refer it with the, this keyword, but you can directly refer the F name like this. So this keyword refers to the global variable of this class. Okay, this dot first name equals to event dot target dot value. This dot lm equals to given dot target dot value. Or you can uh, in this method uh, only. And in the last name, you what we will do? We will uh, we will create another variable. Track full name. So we will set full name, full name equals to first name plus we can even give some space here and then last name. Okay. And now we got the first name, we got the last name. And we uh, got the value stored inside the full name. Now we have to display the full name on the UI, on the full name part. So we will create one more input box. <clears throat> okay. And we will show the value. As a full name, we have to use the curly braces here to show the uh, variable of uh, what you can say, uh, JavaScript. Okay, now we will just save it. Just save the every file, JS file, HTML file. Just deploy. Now, when you refresh, 
this page. You are saying three names, first name, last name, and full name. And suppose if I have enter, so you can see the full name. Okay, Patil, Nilesh, something like that. So this is.